Welcome back guys. So we are obviously milking. You can probably see the machine behind me and here are the machines going. It's morning and we've almost finished up here. Um, it's actually really, really warm today. It's around 30 degrees this morning, which is so nice. I think it's supposed to be in the mid 30s today. I think 36 of the high today, which is really odd because yesterday morning was actually zero and the mornings before that were in the negatives. So it's kind of strange that it warmed up so much and it's actually supposed to be cold tomorrow as well. But after that, I think we are supposed to be in a pattern of warming up weather. So um, I feel like spring is on its way. I know it's a long way off, but usually around the second week of February around here, things really change and you pretty much don't get cold weather anymore. You might get a lot of snow still, but the cold weather just doesn't hang around and the snow doesn't hang around either. But I kind of got off track here. So we're gonna be letting the girls outside this morning, which is really good because they're getting antsy. They've been inside for around two weeks, two and a half weeks now, I think. Um, which is not that long, but they do start to get antsy and they want to go out. So today's supposed to be plenty warm for them. They won't be going outside onto the pad because it's still pretty icy and there's a lot of snow out there. And we don't want them slipping and falling, especially since they're going to be pretty excited because it's been a while since they've gone out. So they will just be going out into the free stall this morning, but Brent already went out and cleaned out. Brent is my boss, by the way, if you're new here. I'm Taylor and I work on a dairy farm in Central Maine and Brent is my boss and it's basically just him and I. We do all the work, seven days a week. We milk twice a day. We're very busy. So he cleaned out the free stall and they're all ready to go outside. They should be very, very excited about it. I hope they don't get too rowdy because sometimes they can get really mean with each other if they get too excited, but I think they'll be okay because they haven't really been inside all that long. Um, there's been winters where they've had to be in longer, obviously, because it's just been way too cold for them to go outside. So it's really been a very mild winter for us as far as them going outside. We have had a couple really, really cold days, but nothing like in the past. So I know a lot of you guys watching have had colder weather than normal, and it's just been a really strange year. So I hope you guys are dealing with that okay. Um, it can be really, really hard when it's cold weather. Um, just the simple things become really, really complicated. Anyway, we're gonna finish up milking. Brent's inside right now, just getting a little bit more coffee. Um, so I'm watching the girls, so I gotta get back to that. did go get sawdust the other day um, and we dumped that out front just because it's much easier to get to it than it is around back 
Um, we have plowed out there and everything, but it's just easier for it to be out here right now, and there's no reason it can't be because it's not supposed to snow or rain or anything for a while, so it should be all set out there. We've only got two machines left. I did want to show you guys. Um, we have a lot of dry cows. We always have a lot of dry cows around this time of year. We have around 20 to 25 that either need to be dried off or already dried off. They are better spaced this year though. They're not all clumped up in a group that are going to calve like at the same time like they were a couple years ago. Um, we actually have some that are going to calve in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, one right here that I want to show you guys, she should calve within the next week. Um, you can see she's changed a lot. She's pretty dilated and she's also bagging up quite a bit. This is actually one of our Guernsey Charlet crosses. Um, it's a weird, weird cross, but she is an excellent milker. Very hardy, good grazer. The only downside to them I found is that they're incredibly smart. Um, her in particular, the other one that we have isn't so bad. She's not quite as smart as this one, but um, so she stays where she belongs, but this one right here, she just escapes all the time. I don't care what kind of fence you have, you cannot keep her in it. I swear sometimes she'll be in a gated area and she'll just be on the other side of the gate with like no explanation and she can't even figure out how to get back. But I think she's just playing you. She knows how to get back, but she doesn't want you to know that she knows, so she pretends she doesn't so that you'll let her out. Maybe she's not quite that smart, but it feels like she is. So lately I've just taken to calling her the little Houdini because she does some things that I've just never seen before. So that's a downside, but I think she's around, I don't really know how old she is, but I think she's around nine. Um, like I said, they're just very hardy and good cows. So she should calve within the next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. I was saying we have another two that are almost as close as she is they're probably just a little bit behind her and then we have a group that's gonna calve in the next two months of about four or five cows and then after that we have a pretty big group of around 15 10 to 15 that are gonna be calving in three or four months so better space this year not quite as clumped together um, but still we would like to get it so it was more evened out it's kind of hard because we had a bull for a while that wasn't very good he wasn't very aggressive he wasn't breeding cows so we got another one, um, and he was a really good breeder, but somebody ended up taking him back not long after we had him. And it was just a whole thing, so it kind of got screwed up, but hopefully this year, um, since they're a little bit more evenly spaced now, once they go out and start getting bred, it'll be in increments. It does help a lot that we can get them out in the winter, so some of them are getting bred in the winter, and then some of them are gonna be getting bred in the spring and summer and so forth when they're out on pasture. So we're getting there, but it does take some time. When you're breeding with a bull and something goes wrong, a lot of cows can get bred at once if you're not paying really close attention. Um, we did try artificial breeding uh, about five or six years ago. We bred three or four cows artificially to a really good Jersey bull, and only one of them took, and the calf that was from that ended up being so messed up, like um, its head was all misshapen, it was malformed, and it just wasn't pretty, so it ended up not surviving more than a day. That whole experience, and along with the past experiences we've had with huge calves, ruining heifers, um, just kind of turned us off AI breeding and turned us on to bull breeding. That and the fact that we weren't really raising our own cows because there was an abundance of dairy cows around here, which there's not anymore, but for a while, there was, so we could manage to do that. So we just started breeding with a beef bull, so if some of you guys are wondering why we breed with a Hereford, we weren't raising our own calves, and the crosses from a Hereford generally come out with a white face, which is what people really think of when they think of a beef cow, so people were really interested in buying them, so um, we didn't have any trouble getting rid of them. It's kind of a nice side income to have that money from the calves coming in um, during the winter when it, things are a little bit slower anyway. But now we've hit the point where there aren't really any replacement dairy cows to buy, so we have to raise our own. We are in the process of slowly switching over to a dairy bull, um, which you guys know as Neil, our Dutch belted, who's outside right now. He's seven months old. And with any luck, he's gonna be the dad of the next round of calves that we have. So now that I've bored you guys by blabbing on and on about weird stuff, Brent is gonna head down and get a bale for them. They already have one out back. There's the two bulls that are out back. We fed them yesterday, so they have pretty much a whole bale out there. So we're gonna put out another one. The one out there right now is, I believe it's a dry bale. 
Brent's gonna be putting out a wrapped bale. I don't know if it's gonna be first or second, but they did have a second crop one in here this morning, so probably it will be a first crop wrapped bale. But he's gonna go get that. He's getting the wash running right now, and then we'll get the girls outside, and then I'll show you guys how excited they are. Um, usually when I say that, they don't do anything, so they'll either lose their minds or they'll act like it's not a big deal. Come down, open the door.
Yes, it would be. Oh yeah, it's not as fun as you thought, huh? No, no. It's time to go outside. Get out. Come on. Ha ha ha. Get. Come on. Ha ha ha. Come on. Easy. Easy. Come on. Come on, big girl. Get up. No, no, no. No. Come on. Get, get, get. Ha ha. Go. Get. Come on. Come on. Girls, come on. You don't want to go out now? Get up. Man. Don't have to shut that door. That was harder than it should have been. Out. Well, they officially did not want to go out, I guess, because it was very hard. Um, and that's the mess that 70 cows can turn a barn into. It's gonna take me a while to clean this up. All right, so we finished cleaning up in here. We just went out and checked on the cows. They are okay. A couple of them are in heat and Neil is actually the one that's pretty much trying to breed them. I'm not sure he's getting much accomplished, but he is trying. Um, the other bull we have is just really lazy and we're thinking about getting rid of him because he's not really doing anything. He's just kind of hanging out by himself. He's just extremely lazy. Um, there's nothing wrong with him. We've checked him out to make sure he's okay and he's fine. He's just apparently gotten to the size where he's a little too big um, and just he's just getting lazy on us. So probably have to get rid of him, but we are not going to bed the stalls until tonight. Um, there's really no reason to. They're going to come in and they're going to stay in tonight, so we'll bed them tonight after they come in. We do have to fix a few things because you can see they knocked down this board here. So we're going to have to take the screws out of that and replace them. We still haven't replaced that upright beam. It's holding just fine for now. The one that we scabbed over, they broke it in half and we just scabbed it and it's holding fine right now. So we're probably gonna leave that, but we do have to put that back up. And we also had a chain come off down here. Uh, not a chain, a hook come off down here, which we're gonna have to put back on. They are not really happy about being out. They wanna come back in. So we need to put this on here. Somehow that one came off. So we'll put this one back on there, hammer that together and fix that board. And that should be it. We also have to clean out the cows because it's been about a week and a half since we've cleaned them out. So we're gonna have to clean them out because they're getting pretty dirty. Plus we have nice fresh sawdust for them. So that'll be good to get that in there. And then maybe we'll get a chance to take a nice snowmobile ride today because it's a nice day for it. It's 30 degrees, it is a little windy. It was snowing a few seconds ago. I guess it still is. Um, but it's just a nice day for it. It's nice and warm. Might as well do it while we still have the snow. So I'll take you guys with me for that because that'll be fun. See the farm from some different views. It'll be nice. There we go. There. Another thing I do have to do as well is clean up some of this corn meal that's under this bin. just stuff I dropped this morning so we'll just put it in the cart. Okay so we didn't get everything finished, we didn't get the calves cleaned out but Brent had to be somewhere so we'll probably clean them out tomorrow because we really don't have anything else to do 
and we couldn't put up that board because we don't have any screws left over so he's gonna pick some of those up when he's out today so I figured I'd take you guys for a ride with me now we might as well while we still have the snow because it's supposed to rain in a couple days so we're gonna lose most of it I think it's supposed to be 46 in a couple days with rain so um, pretty much kiss all of this goodbye but I do have a helmet today so that's good and a jacket I don't have ski pants but I don't think it's that cold something we do have to do is turn the sled around because it does not actually have reverse it has reverse um, but it's not hooked up because I had to put a new um, chain in the chain casing um, so it didn't get hooked up because we were waiting for it to stretch so then we just never hooked it up after that so that's not functional so kind of annoying I'll have to turn it around um, but we'll see if we can muscle it around.
a high spot where you can see everything. Um, you can see the mountains. Or it's snowing over there, so it looks really cool. The lake which just looks like a giant field right now. And the barn down there, you can actually just barely see the heifer barn way in the distance. So, yeah, it's really beautiful. Um, I was going to go down to the lake, but the pasture shut off, so I'd have to open that gate. So we may just cross the road again, head over, and go up toward the heifer barn way. And I'll show you guys some of that, as long as it starts again, because sometimes it doesn't like to.
And I'm sure my hair looks great now. I probably have helmet head. The only thing I don't like about that sled is it has like only one heat warmer setting. It's on or off. So you're either burning your hands or your hands are freezing and there's no happy medium. So my gloves are steaming because they're so hot. But yeah, I was fun to get out, have a little bit of a ride. I don't think we'll be riding much this year because we just don't have any snow. It's just not a good year for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like and comment down below and subscribe, of course. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. Just hit that button and it really does help us out. Just keep it real, keep farming, and hope you guys enjoy us in the next video. Bye guys.